<clears throat> All right, welcome everybody. Welcome back. This is our uh, first in the nation card caucus uh, press conference. We have just left uh, the headquarters of the winner of the first in the nation card caucus. And oh man, was it crowded. They got press all over the world in there. Uh, it is uh, it is insane. We got interviewed by Italian media. But bump all that. We are here to announce that in a landslide, the senator from Vermont, St. Bernard Sanders, uh, has come out victorious. It was an absolute Just demolishing. Com completely destroyed. He, uh, you stack you stack every vote cast, not Bernie Sanders. You put it on a seesaw, op opposite the Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Bernie votes. Sanders wins Bernie barely. Sanders wins barely. Fifty-two <laughs> percent of the vote. Uh, it, it it went like this: Bernie Sanders uh, with a dominating win, fifty-two percent. Uh, Donald Trump in second place. Uh, Hillary Clinton, or was it Rand Paul? Hillary Clinton and Rand Paul had about, like, I think they were two different, but yeah. I think Rand Paul edged her out in the last uh, the last day. Rand Paul uh, was third, Hillary Clinton was fourth, and Dr. Ben Carson uh, came in fifth. A real upset. Yeah. A, a big, uh, a strong move, a strong move by Ben Carson uh, and not uh, Ted Cruz. I think that was kind of a that surprise. A, I mean, he's just so fifth. nice. He fits in so well. He, uh, yeah, maybe it was because we just kept talking about how nice Ben Carson's people were to us that people uh, started. Uh, just I'm like, oh yeah, let's give him some nice votes. Yeah, no, and he won. Doctor Ben, gentle Ben Carson. He won fifth place. Uh, yeah, no, it, uh, it was, uh, it was definitely a, uh, it was so fun. We had 366 total colonels cast. Now, mind you, yes. that might not sound like, oh, you only met 366 people. No, 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 no. We met far more. Here's what 366 represents. You had to win a game of the contender. You had to win a hand of the contender to then get your colonel and then cast it. So you had to win an argument with strangers uh, for you to be able to cast an argument. We just walked in. We gave the Bernie Sanders uh, uh, campaign their check. They were very, very happy with it. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, we, we, we really didn't get a chance to do something like this in there because they are uh, swamped. Oh, man. This is uh, really like their biggest, the biggest day of Bernie Sanders' political career. They had a, they did have uh, someone, like an actual campaign, like seemed pretty, uh, pretty important, come out and talk to us, spend about five minutes with us. So that was Shook great. a hand, took pictures. Shook a hand, took a picture. We got a... Floating, Didn't make us call her press secretary. Floating Bernie head cut out in the picture behind us. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Didn't have to call the press secretary. Nope. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, no, it was uh, it was, it was an awesome time. Uh, I, and since this is our press conference, we're doing our press conference here on Twitter. Uh, we'll, we'll take uh, any, uh, any, any, any questions here. Given uh, what you said, didn't shock me that the Bernie's people were chill. Yes, we can absolutely. confirm they were absolutely chill. Bernie Sanders... Uh, supporters absolutely super chill. Uh, they they are, are a little on high alert um, uh, right now because uh, this is you this know, is the big day. This is it. You know they got to make sure everybody is out there uh, around Iowa uh, talking to people. <laughs> uh, well, oh, I think yeah. the fall of Rome was also a big day at Sanders' career. <laughs> I know Caesar. He was a very uh, he was a mean man. He deserved the fall of Rome. Uh, Did we get thrown out of any place? Uh, we didn't get thrown out, but we were denied entry to some places. Uh, did Bernie's health become an issue? I, I think only if all the blood uh, rushed to his lower extremities because he was so excited about winning the card caucus. That would be the only problem. Uh, caucus for Trump, don't let the media fool you. Uh, okay, number one. Every, people can caucus for whoever they want. Oh, yeah. All we care about was the card caucus, which oh. has now wrapped up. It's done. Uh, the results also, are in. we're not the media. We are uh, big independent card creators, whatever you want to call for that. And we're not even really that big. Who will win the card caucus for the Republicans? We only did one card caucus, uh, and on the Republican side, Donald Trump was your victor. Donald Trump won the Republican side. However, since it wasn't doubled up, 
he loses to Bernie Sanders. Yes. Despite all of his uh, his winning that he promises. What lessons did you learn from this uh, experience? Stand around. The best thing that you could ever do to get press or attention, like don't be fooled. Like if you have an idea, don't be like tricked by Facebook into boosting your posts or, uh, or, or buying priority tweets. The best thing that you can do for any sort of press is to wear a silly hat and go stand places. Yeah, and that's exactly what we did. We got, <laughs> where's our coot hats? Grab a, grab a coot hat if I'm you can. I'm freaking fancy. Uh, well, the new uh, Hampshire Card Caucus have different results. We don't know whether or not. I mean, it would yes, be, Bernie it, will win by more. <laughs> it would be it would be a, a New Hampshire card primary there since uh, it's only the card caucus here in Iowa. Um, I, I don't know. We're we're, we're undecided. It, it really depends on on uh, we we got to we got to take a hard look at the numbers and decide whether or not it's worth it for us to go to New Hampshire. Uh, please explain the caucus process. All right, here's what happened. We set up ultimately five events uh, for over the four days that we were here, including Mayhem Comics, Carl's Place, a legendary political dive bar, mm -hmm. uh, Up Down Arcade Bar in uh, the East Village, and then we wound up doing one at Smoky Row, which is a big famous coffee shop where a lot of media hangs out, and uh, it's super busy all the time. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then uh, we wound up doing an impromptu one at a, at a political fashion show at a, the social place, the social... Uh, Des Moines Social Club. Club yeah. Des Moines Social Club. Uh, and so that's where we did all the events. Everybody played the game, uh, The Contender, which is the game that me and John uh, invented. And uh, we awarded a corn kernel for every round that people won. They put that in the candidate's uh, mason jar of their choosing. And at the end of it, this morning... We counted up all the votes, and with 52% uh, of the votes, Bernie Sanders is your Card Caucus winner. Uh, thank you for sharing all this week. Uh, we really appreciate it. This has been super fun, and uh, to be honest with you, if um, if we uh, if, if if we win, uh, what's it called? If if uh, if, if we can uh, sell more, and, and this is a financial win for us, then then we'll definitely go to New Hampshire and do more. Oh yeah. Uh, did Bernie build a cornhole? No, but Rand Paul did. Yeah. Rand Paul's uh, uh, campaign office is a a a a frat house, man. It yeah. is like a bunch of young dudes and some ladies, and uh, they are having a blast, and they like ring crazy bells. I don't know when they're ringing crazy bells. I think bells. they ring a bell whenever someone on the phone pledges the caucus for Rand. I think that's it, And yeah. then they had, their cornhole set had the Rand logo. The like, Liberty like uh, professionally in Brost and Boston. Exactly. No, the, they had easily the most enthusiastic energy-wise people. Probably mm -hmm. the most ordered we saw was Ted Cruz. Um, and then uh, easily the most uh, laid-back super welcoming was, uh, well, Bernie Sanders and Ben Carson, but for different reasons. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everybody can hear on politics, politics, politics. Uh, we walked into every single campaign headquarters and delivered a box of the contender to all of them. Uh, we're going to publish today our, our gift horse index ranking every, can every campaign office based on how they reacted to us giving them a free gift for their volunteers. Uh, and also you can hear me talk about it... Um, uh, on uh, politics, 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 uh, as covered by the Daily Orange this morning. Uh, did you see Ted Cruz get denied by his daughter? No, but Ted Cruz's bus was literally stuck in the mud yesterday. It was. His campaign bus got stuck in the mud. We uh, we and, definitely uh, saw Rand We saw Ted Cruz walking into the Marriott. Yeah. Uh, right, um, Pat, like, head down past every single broadcast news reporter that's not on Fox News. Are political offices allowed to accept free gifts? In fact, political offices are run on free gifts. Uh, we, uh, yeah, I, it was, it's a $30 card game that we we wholesale for, for less than that, so uh, I don't think that we fall afoul of any Federal Election Commission regulations for donating a game uh, to their volunteers, and that's yeah. really who it was for, because to be honest, Half these campaigns, if not more, are, are really not going to make it out of Iowa in, in a meaningful way, and they're certainly not going to come back. So it's like, 
you know, if, if Bernie survives, Bernie beats Hillary, then that office uh, will be that and more uh, when it comes to the general, when they need to win Iowa for the general. But, uh, but you know, in, for most of these places, it's just one of the volunteers who's going to take it home and have a good time. What election result surprises do you expect today? Well, here's the biggest surprise. This was supposed to be a blizzard uh, today, and, and apparently it's now going to be after the caucuses, which speaks well for Bernie and Trump, because blizzard and hazardous weather uh usually turn it usually affects more first time caucus goers and bernie and trump are going to rely on first time caucus goers more than ted cruz and hillary clinton their rivals as more established figures so uh i i think if you are going to look for a surprise then uh you know sanders is probably the the the, the most likely surprise he's within the margin of error um uh, but you know we'll we'll see. Yeah, I mean that almost would make it not as much of a surprise though. It would be really surprising if like people turned out for Rand and strong. Numbers. Well, I mean, I think the biggest the biggest question mark um, with the Republicans is who comes in third. And, and right now Rubio has a fairly strong position in third. Uh, but you you got to figure that somebody has to be hoping that they pull an upset. Um, you know, uh, like, like Chris Christie. I mean, like here are the people that need to pull an upset to stay in the game and, and get third. Right. And mm -hmm. then hope to build on it. Uh, Ben Carson, Chris Christie, John Kasich, uh, Rick Santorum, all of those kinds of Carly Fiorina, all those kinds of candidates need Bush, Jeb Bush. If Jeb Bush, uh, uh gets, uh, his ass kicked in Iowa, uh, which it looks like he will, and he gets his ass kicked in New Hampshire, like, you're kind of screwed. And, and, and really, you're going to start to see some of the establishment folks for which he has built his career start to say, mm, we kind of need Rubio to win Florida, and you are going to screw Rubio out of Florida. So this is a big night for Jeb. Jeb's got to hope that he really outperforms the polls, um, that he is uh, Jeb with an exclamation point and not Jeb with a question mark. And yes, we did get into the Jeb offices. We did. In fact, go to our Facebook, facebook.com slash The Contender Game, and you will see the greatest GIF ever created, which was John took of me uh, uh, as the my a weird face. I was making this face uh, as the uh, exclamation point dot on the gigantic jab exclamation point in his campaign headquarters. It was, uh, it was super, super, super fun. Um... So we uh, we now, I mean, that's that's effectively what uh, our jobs today are literally just to stand around. Like if we can get any extra press, that'll be rad. I think he means what do we do? What do we do? So oh, that, for our day jobs, such that like we can we can afford, we can afford to, come to here. just come here on a on a game that uh, is currently. This is my day money. job. Um, it's currently currently losing money. We're on our way to yeah. we're on our way to not losing money. We are just as optimistic as everyone in Iowa right now. Uh, tell them what each campaign headquarters are next to. Uh, we, we'll, uh, hopefully we'll put that out Ooh, too. We, got, we actually went and did like a whole list of that. We'll put that up. We're gonna write that up up all day. Uh, Bernie Sanders is a socialist and a nightmare for the country. He's also the first card caucus winner. So add that to the list of things that uh, you want to say about Bernie Sanders. You can call him uh, well, a nightmare and a socialist, but make sure that you add on that list that he is the inaugural uh, first in the nation card caucus winner. All right? Just make sure, because we're trying to drum up press for this goddamn game here, folks. Come yeah. on. Help us out. Like, Bernie Sanders will ruin this country, but he did win the Contender Card Caucus available on Amazon for $30. You can't argue or with the facts, the folks. Contender. You can't argue with the facts. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. You know, he won the Card Caucus. He's just great. Um, all right. So here's uh, what I want you guys uh, to do. We are trying desperately to get to 500 likes on Facebook today. Facebook.com slash The Contender Game. We got 102 people here. If everybody went over to Facebook.com slash The Contender Game and liked it right now, we would get up to 500 likes immediately. Uh, uh, thank you so much. We are going to, uh, we're going to upload day four stuff, which was really awesome. 
uh, uh, check out our Facebook and our Twitter for uh, us on local Iowa news, on New York City news. Uh, we got covered by uh, who else? Who else did we get covered by? Japan, Japanese. Oh, Japanese news, NHK. Italian news. Italian news just covered us. Um, uh, the local, the local station we got on. Yeah, two Channel Thirteen. Ago. Hopefully, uh, attention. Attn uh, covered us. Who knows if they'll write about us? Uh, my my old paper, uh, the Daily Orange, uh, covered us this morning. We'll be on the Daily Dot today, uh, uh, talking about uh, our gift horse index. It's uh, it's it's uh, you know just been uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh wait, oh also, uh, uh, we are on. We're we we were in the pool report, so now we're popping up all over the country. Uh, we were yeah. on West Virginia news, Rhode Island news. Uh, because a pool reporter covered us, and so people are picking that up all day uh, today. Uh, how's the duck hunting been in Iowa? Folksy. Yes. Uh, I mean, the duck hunter really is 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 Ted Cruz. He's got uh, he's got duck commando dude out there uh, stumping for him. I had a great time at Uptown. Riley, thank you so much for coming out. Yeah, man. Uh, oh, and thanks for that. Uh, thanks for the. Two uh, recommendations for for Jethro's. Yeah, yeah we went there and. By the way, what's that? Two white guys. Why are you self promoting? Uh, the good news is that we don't even make the top five of white guys self promoting on Caucus Day. <laughs> there are so many more white guys spending so much more money and effort of uh, uh, self promoting today. <laughs> Yeah, we're just. Uh, oh, you know, Phil B, thank you in. so much for buying the game, man. Thank Phil. you so much. You're uh, you're gonna really enjoy it, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, no, uh, we uh, we're, we're we're trying to just do our best. We're gonna finish strong. We're gonna hopefully John's gonna get out of here before the blizzard. Yeah, I got. Uh, I actually, this is not my day job. No, no. I'm like Justin, I have to get back, and uh, I'm on vacation right now, so I got to get back to work tomorrow. Uh, but I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back uh, back in time and just kind of be a be a journalist for for the day. Yeah. Uh, where I'm gonna go uh, to to whoever wins uh, the caucus. So go to their campaign party and and, uh, and and take some video. And there's some folks just tuning in. We're in town uh, in Des Moines, Iowa. We just wrapped up our Contender Card Caucus, where we're, we created a card game called the Contender. We've been playing it all week. Uh, ever as people win hands, they've been voting for their favorite candidate, and yeah. they just we just crowned Bernie Sanders, the first in the nation contend co contender card caucus winner. Uh, uh, oh, Jim says I know it's too late, but I need the politically incorrect expansion. Good news, Jim. Uh, go to the website right now and buy it uh, because we don't have enough to do another flash sale, so we're just gonna sell them for as long as right. we have them. So go go buy it right now. The Contender US. Uh, yeah, so Bernie Sanders, 52% winner, um, uh, you know, just, just absolutely dominated. A lot of people feel on the burn that are playing the card game. Granted, uh, we will be, be fair. We are very much in the Bernie Sanders demographic in a lot of ways. We are in one of the most liberal cities in Iowa, <laughs> uh, playing a card game that demographically kind of self-selects, uh, considering that we were at comic book shops, uh, you know, bars yeah. and uh, uh, I mean, I guess the we we had a lot of families at the coffee shop. That's true. Uh, but but, but yeah, that, that, that was most of, Bernie yeah. friend, liberal and Bernie friendly uh, uh, territory. But he very much outperformed you know Hillary. So so that's that's the thing. And Trump got second. So whatever you want to say about that, the blizzard is coming. Well, winter is definitely coming, my friend. That we is do a do a flip around and show this this awesome. Uh... Attending doom that has been forecast. Yeah, look at that. Who wants to go to the beach? Yeah. <laughs> um, who came in last? Uh, I think Ooh. Kasich. Yeah. Kasich came in last. Uh, oh, you're 25 years late to the card game thing. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of card games. Yeah, this is uh, this is the card game revolution. They, I know they wrote about it in Forbes last year. You have so many amazing card games that are new. You know, uh, Exploding Kittens, uh, uh, Cards Against Humanity, Uno, just <laughs> plenty of card games that everybody loves. Um, when I hear about the burn, I think uh, yeast infection. Yeah, I mean, you start by feeling the burn, and then it starts 
get a little infected and you scratch the burn and then it just starts to spread. And, and that's what's happening in Iowa. Yeah. Spreading all over the place. <laughs> Somebody, get, Hillary Clinton's going to rub some ointment here and, uh, and make sure that it's all right. Uh, uh, don't like the weather. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, but I'll tell you what. Des Moines has actually been pretty rad. It, it, it's been a little cold, but it hasn't snowed. Uh, that's apparently going to change tonight. Uh, but uh, but we will see. Also, apparently, uh, things might get worked out a little faster today because uh, they're they're doing it all through Microsoft made like uh, an app that uh, that everything's going to be running through as opposed to people calling in. Oh dang! Yeah, mm. uh, which is like its own. Bernie got pissed off about that because like. Uh, you know, voter fraud and yada yada yada. So, yeah. But uh, although it is a smartphone demographic, though. Uh, well, I mean, not not in rural Iowa, right? Like, well, I mean, you know, how are people going to be? Uh... They're going to give them a phone if they don't already have their own phone that they can load the app onto. But the app is iOS, Android, Windows Phone. It's a thing. I talked about it on DTNS. Uh, the website says the game is sold out. Is it really sold out? Which uh, part? Which game? Wh- which Our game? Part? Yeah. Our game ain't sold it's out. It's sold out. Um, I mean, how many did we sell? This oh morning? no, no, no! The politically incorrect thing. We got to take that off. Uh, the the politically there's a slide on our website that says the politically incorrect thing oh. is sold out. Oh no! If you go to the if you yeah, go, just go to the, the store. store. Just go to the store and buy it. Yeah. You're 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 good to go. It's only the the politically incorrect thing was we didn't have enough inventory. Ba 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 ba. Dripper dripper dripper. It's in the store. It's Where in the store. we fucked up. Uh, also other people fucked up. Uh, we won't get into that. I'm not gonna get it. Listen, they're great. They're great. They're great guys. They're great, you know, but, but, uh, long story short, bap, 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 bing, bong, boom. We have extra, we have extra decks. We have extra decks. Um, Swamp Bass. I love Swamp Bass has been doing nothing but just stumping for his candidates, just yelling, Trump, Crows, Trump, Rubio. Trump, Trump, Trump. But finally, we've, uh, we've, we've swayed him. Yeah. Hopefully now he'll go into other uh, other periscopes and just yell, the contender, the contender, the contender. <laughs> yeah, comes against humanity is ruining this country. Yeah, exactly. The contender. Uh, I would support Trump if it gives Justin more excuses to do Trump impressions indefinitely. To be fair, all right, Natalie, thank you so oh much for gosh, that. Yeah. So we're so uh, go ahead and look uh, at the uh, on our Facebook again. We're trying to get to 500 Facebook likes. Facebook.com/slash/TheContenderGame. Uh, Facebook.com/slash/TheContenderGame. Uh, I think you'll see on there uh, our, our WNBC report that they did on us. And uh, the lady there kept making me do uh, uh, impressions. Yeah, like, show me. Uh, I was like, so what's this game? Well, because I've been doing do Chris I, Christie. So, so wait, but, explain it while while doing the Chris Christie impersonation. Well, <laughs> so while we've been playing this game for the entire time, I, I started doing this Ted Cruz impression yeah. because we've had to listen to Ted Cruz all for like five days. So I've just been like playing all my cards. The Ted Cruz impression: number one, put your finger in the air. You always have to put your finger in the air. And then you have to, it's very sing-songy. It's very, I, it, it, it's kind of shrill. Like, it's almost like, the, the tone of it is almost like you're about to sing on Broadway. I, like, it's 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 very kind of theatrical. <laughs> yeah. Like, I believe that there is a thing we need to do. Uh, so uh, I did that. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do it like Ted Cruz. And then she just kept feeding yeah. me impressions. Oh, well, do it like Chris Christie. Yeah. And yeah I don't oh, know. Well, do it like Donald Trump. Yeah. I, don't, I have a Donald Trump, right? Like, yeah. so we've been doing the Donald Trump thing on the podcast. Like, like you know, it's great. It's, you know, it's fantastic. It's just, it's a great card game. It's great. Bing, bong, boom. Uh, but I don't have a Chris. And she's like, oh, do Chris Christie. And I realized she wants Chris Christie because Chris Christie means more to the New York audience because he's the New Jersey governor. Ah, yes. So, but I don't have one, so I just did the shittiest Chris Christie impression. You can see it on our Facebook yeah, page, like, Facebook.com. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Chris Christie. Uh, but yeah, no, go ahead and check out the shittiest Chris Christie impression ever on Facebook.com slash the contender game. Trying to get to 500 Facebook likes. Help us caucus around the world. 500 Facebook likes. All right, guys. Guess what? We're fucking really hungry, and we're oh, gonna go eat, yeah. and then we gotta go upload stuff, and then we gotta go, and then John's on to the airport, and then I'm he's on to Denver, and home. then he's going to San, San Francisco. Francisco, and then he's going to bed. Yeah! All right.
right, guys. I love you. Bye.